This video demonstrates how you will integrate Integromate with Bitform. Select any existing form or create any form to integrate with Integromate. We have two fields here. And we have selected the form at the front end to show. Now navigate to Form Setting and go to Integration option. To create an integration click on the New Integration button and then select Integromate. Now, go to Integromate Dashboard and click on Create a New Scenario. Search and select Webhook. And click on Continue. You have to configure the webhook to connect with Bitform. Click on Custom Webhook, then press the Add button. Now give a related name of your webhook. After clicking Save, Integromate will automatically generate a URL. And you have to copy that URL. Follow the path. Go to Integration Dashboard and Webhook URL pasted here. You can send the request by any method such as, Get, Post, or by your preference. We will send with Post method as an instance. Add URL parameters to send the form value which we can use in integrated later. Map the key name and select the field name which you want to send as a value. We will map here both fields of this form. Now to test if the webhook is connected, click on the test webhook button in Bitform. If the connection is successful, you will see successfully determined. Now add another module you want to integrate with Bitform. Here we have chosen Google Sheet. Click on Add a Row. Set any action that will be performed on the sheet and configure it. Select the spreadsheet and sheet name. In the value section, select the names you have made for the initial test. Click on the run once to activate the webhooks. However, you have to remember that how many webhooks. Then go to Bitform Integration Dashboard. Then click on the Next button, click on Finish and Save button. Now navigate to the Conditionals Logics tab. Here you can trigger any integration by setting conditions by your choice. To know more about Conditional Logics watch our video about Conditional Logics, link in the description. Click on record create slash edit from action run when section if want to run when a record creates or edits. Then checked on form submit from the action effect section. Then click on always from the action behavior section if you want to run always without any condition. Then click on integration and select the integration name. Now update your form by clicking the update button. Now go to the front end of your selected form and type some information.
click on the Save button to submit the data. After successful submission, go to Form Responses. Here you can view the submitted data. Also, check Google Sheets. Thanks for watching.